Rob Milkins. Welcome to my side of <laughs> Gloucestershire. Hey, listen, the sun is shining. You're a two-time ranking event winner. You've got a guaranteed passage through to the Crucible. Life is good, my man, isn't it? Yeah, it's all changed around for me in the last year or so, you know. It's, it's amazing how it's all happened so quickly. And, um, you know, I couldn't, if I, going back a year ago, I wouldn't have dreamt about winning a tournament, but winning two, um, just, just unreal, really. I mean, I, I think your story in the last, what, 13 months, 14 months, because that's all it is, is incredible. And look, I, you know, of course you made mistakes, but what human being hasn't? You know, every single person connected to the snooker tour has probably made a bit of a wally of themselves, having two or three pints too many. <laughs> and, but I, I've got a funny feeling, would you agree that had Turkey not happened the way it did, I don't think you're standing here now as a two-time ranking event winner. No, it's, a, it's, not, it's something obviously I, I'm not proud of what, what happened. And, you know, at the time it was a, felt like it was the end really. But yeah, you're right. Like, I mean, that, that looking back at it, I mean, something triggered me into the next tournament. You know, whether it was fate, I don't know. But it's, or whether somebody out there was looking down on me, it just happened, you know. I don't feel like I, I actually played brilliant in that tournament. I just, but you know, sometimes you need you need that little bit of luck, and in the end, like I say, maybe someone was looking down on me and, and got me through it. Well, and and when you think about it, I know it's been well documented, but it's nice to have the time to talk to you about it in depth. You'd only won three matches the whole season, but yeah, you know, I guess maybe. Maybe it was a case, was it? Uh, you know, you confronted the demons, you, you'd started to, you know, put the jigsaw together a little bit and you thought, actually, do you know what? I yeah. can only go one way from here and that's up. Yeah, well, I mean, like, winning three matches doesn't always tell the whole story. I was getting tough draws, you know, drawing top 16 most tournaments, random, random draws. Um, I was playing all right, you know, in games, but it becomes a habit losing, you know, like winning becomes a habit. And I was in that bad habit of just trying to, I was playing all right, but not getting the run and just not quite getting the wins. And, you know, your momentum has been really good since then. And, yep. you know, we started, I think you made the semis of your group at the Championship League at the very start of this season, which yep. feels like it was about four years ago now. Yeah. And then semis in Germany, and we started to see you know, some of your very best form. And, and you only lost that semi to Ali, the eventual champion, in a decider anyway. Yeah, I played well in that tournament. I mean, obviously with the 146 and the 147 as well. I mean, it's that, that was just incredible. Uh, I was absolutely gutted when I lost to Ali though, because I, all I was, obviously I wanted to get to a final, but there was other things on the line as well, like the, um, the players championship. And having lost that one, I only had to win that last frame to get in that. Um, having lost it, I knew I had to get to the semis of Welsh to get back in it, win another five matches, you know. So, um, yeah, big blow that was, but obviously bounced back in style then. As soon as the world finishes and, and, and the uh, weather starts becoming nice, we, me and me mates, we go down to, well, Maysmore, where we, Maysmore Weir, and we go fishing, eel fishing. Yeah, I like we, fishing. We, we do a lot of fishing, like, and we we walk through all, all the fields like this, and. Oh, we get the barbecue out. It just—it's nice, isn't it? When the s summer comes oh, and lush. you know you're doing doing things like in the country, beats being in the city anyway. Yeah, I mean, I you know it's it's great being at the tournaments and it's nice to. I'm just looking out for more deer. It's great being at the tournaments and it's nice to have the chance to talk to people and you know share their excitement that they've come to the crucible or whatever. But yeah, yeah, at the end of sort of. 17 days well it's a month for me now because i come for the end of the qualies and then i stay for the seniors afterwards so it's 28 days yeah there they are sam turn around <laughs> I haven't met, that's the whole herd they come to see me at what point did you start to think especially coming off the back of your momentum at the german when as you said you were you were playing really well in berlin yeah was it after you beat mark selby that you started to think hang on a minute i could I could do this here, or what? At what point did you start thinking I, 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 I actually believe I can win this tournament? Probably when I got. I don't really look. I don't look into it too much, you know. Um, probably when I got to the semis and I'm playing Tian, and then I got friends and family that I want there, but at the same time I don't really want there because I've been there all week on my own. Um, 
and thinking that it's probably going to dampen my chances if they come up. But if I win it, I'm never going to forgive myself if they're not there. Yeah. And I, I and it works out absolutely perfect in the end, you know. And uh, yeah, luckily enough for me, at the end, I, I held myself together. Sean's missed the red into the middle and he's gone straight through the pack, but the red's come back, kissed the white and left me on the top cushion, which I, you know, I was a bit unlucky. I should have been plumbing then, but then I've, I parted the good red in the middle and made the break to win it. Like, but just pure relief, really, to get over the line with it being so important, you know? Oh, it's, yeah, absolutely huge. And, and then all of a sudden, the rest of the season opens like a flower in oh, spring. Ev Players champs, yep. tour champs. And also, I meant to ask you, you've got, um, I know you've come up shy, I think eight or nine times in the last 48, you know, one match shy of the Crucible, but you've made it there eight times. Yeah. Beaten Neil, of course, two, two fantastic victories in 13 and 18. And I yeah. remember how emotional you were when you, when you beat him the first of those two times, yeah. when the match was actually a lot closer. Yeah. But what does it mean to you to know that you're going to be introduced as a seed and with a few weeks to go to the big one yeah you know for certain you're going to be there is that quite a big achievement yeah in it your is a mind? big yeah it is yeah because you know i've been to the masters as a top 16 player um i've been in the 16 but i've never been i've never been in the 16 at the time when the world comes around and i'm and i'm seeded so i just can't wait to introduce you as a top seed at the crucible i'll be looking for my fellow gloucester well. boy thanks rob no worries yeah, cheers